she was stretched out and we were so cautious when we first got up here. I said, don't talk very loud, keep it down. I was afraid the motor might startle her or something, but she, um, she just laid there and we circled around for about an hour and gradually got a little closer, a little closer. I see this silhouette. That's a bear. It <laughs> stood up to be at least five feet. You walk yeah. out on the dock, very, you know, in close sight, and she stood up or raised up a couple of times. Yeah, that's what happened. Didn't I didn't get too much closer after that. <laughs> I've been told that bears can outrun humans for a distance. Meandered on down here. She stood and she looked at the water. We thought maybe she was looking for some fish. I guess it in the waterways too, like you're looking for maybe a shark or a for snakes, for alligators, but you never expect to see a bear. And when I heard this bear was here, first I'm thinking, is that is that real? I mean, you know, who knows what happens while we sleep? <laughs> That's true. I just know now that whenever I'm out in my boat or a kayak, I'm looking for snakes, sharks, alligators, and I gotta check that box and put on bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great experience to, to learn, and uh, I think a lot of people don't know that black bears live along the coast of South Carolina. So um, just, a, just a neat experience and we were never threatened and I don't think she felt threatened. And um, it, was, it was just a while, it certainly consumed the whole afternoon.